Most people are family people. Many, like these, big family people. Over 13 million of them, with five or more members under the same roof. And sharing the same car. The decision to buy a 77 Royal Monaco was a family decision, but not until they had checked other cars. Like Ford's LTD, a car in the same general size category as the Royal Monaco. Or Chevrolet's new downsized Caprice, which is taller, but skinnier. Know what they found? The manufacturer's suggested retail price of the Royal Monaco sedan is over $300 below both Impala and Ford LTD comparably equipped. And the Royal Monaco Brome sedan is over $300 below both Caprice Classic and LTD Landau. But paying more money doesn't get more car because Royal Monaco is the largest size in its class. For example, Caprice is 10 inches shorter almost four inches narrower, and it uses the same wheelbase as an intermediate, five inches shorter than Royal Monaco. It has a narrower track and smaller tires, too. And Caprice has a surprising three inches less room at the hips than Royal Monaco, and almost an inch less at the shoulder. To save space, Caprice used short armrests and small door handles. When the window is rolled down, it's a partial window, and the movable part goes down less than halfway. You see the difference when you compare with Royal Monaco. On Royal Monaco, armrests are long and flowing, handles recessed, and the big window opens wider. Visibility is important, especially for a driver. The Royal Monaco windshield is bigger than either of its competitors, lets you see the fender tips as you drive. The Caprice windshield is smaller, by almost one and a half square feet. The fenders are low. Looking to the rear in Dodge, you again can see the fenders. There's over two square feet less glass to see through in the Ford, and one and a half feet less in Caprice. Royal Monaco is a driver's car. His visibility and comfort are vital. More front shoulder room than either competitor. Over three inches more hip room than Caprice. Seats are thick and luxurious. Look at the big, highly visible instrument cluster. An alternator gauge warns of possible trouble. While both Caprice and LTD use lights for every engine function. And compare this. Caprice hood release and parking brake controls close together and exposed. Where Royal Monaco recesses the hood release. Six directional air conditioning vents on the Dodge instrument panel. As opposed to only four on the Caprice and LTD panels. A center glove box convenient to both front seat passengers in Royal Monaco, complete with coin holder, versus passenger side glove boxes in both Caprice and LTD. Little things that add up to big differences, particularly at the end of a long trip. The difference in arriving downsize cramped. full-size comfortable, getting out of big, soft seats through wide door openings. And when your family arrives at your vacation spot, which would you prefer? Unloading from this big Royal Monaco trunk with recessed side compartments for holding tall articles upright and with the width of a full-size trunk, or this narrower trunk with exposed wiring which can catch on luggage. It's the difference between family size and narrower downsize. A big difference in power too. The kind of power a big car needs for the big jobs it does. 
Royal Monaco's choice of V8 engines includes Chrysler Corporation's exclusive electronic lean burn system with an electronic computer which automatically adjusts your engine to seven engine and driving conditions to give you peak performance. The battery saving thermoguard, not even available on the other cars, is standard with all Royal Monaco's engines. There is one major consideration in buying any car. You have to be pleased with its style. Your car should look solid, substantial. A big car should look big. And if someone tells you it's just as big inside but smaller on the outside, use your eyes and see if it's true. Sheet metal should be smooth and uninterrupted. Ornamentation should be in good taste, not flashy. All Royal Monaco's have weather-protected concealed headlights. LTD offers them only on more expensive models. Caprice doesn't offer them at all. Royal Monaco offers more paint choices, including Sunfire Metallics. No charge, of course, but Ford adds $62 if you want their special metallic paint. The grill. Is it solid, all-metal, die-key? and on the Caprice. Check the bumper. Is it snugged up tightly to the grille, as on Dodge, or is there a wide gap covered by a wide plastic filler, as on both LTD and the Caprice? How about the rear? You normally expect strong metal here, but it's painted plastic on Caprice. If you're used to a full-size car, you know how one rides. Royal Monaco rides smooth and it's the only one with torsion bar suspension. The feeling is solid. These optional vent windows are a nice convenience. Can't get them on Impala. Dodge Royal Monaco. It really is a full-size car, and it really does have lower sticker prices than Ford or Chevrolet. High line and low line, coupes and sedans. It can be a working member of your family during the week and a dressy, respectable, eye-catching member when you want to show off the family at its best. Now aren't you glad you compared?